I'm Nick. And together we're at Nicky Nick. Um, today we're going to be reacting to... Something different. Something different. I knew you were um, going to say that, so I said it first. Because I always say something different when it's something different. Um, it's Fast and Curious by Swoozy. And I haven't seen him in a long time, so... I've I'm, never watched any of his stuff, so... And I'm looking forward to it. He looks like he's doing well. <clears throat> That's his house. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I really like I'm the I'm looking thumbnail. at that whole background. Yeah, I really like the thumbnail, so I'm curious to see what we're getting into. I'm, I'm fast so and ready. curious. Ready? I'm so funny sometimes. Here we go. <laughs> Think about that friend you've had the longest. I'm assuming you guys have done some stuff that you're taking to the grave and you're not going to tell anybody. Me and my friends, we were a little bit more crazier than normal people. We like constantly needed to be doing stupid stuff. And to us it wasn't really stupid <clears throat> stuff, it was just us having fun. When I was about 14 years old, my boy Robbie and my cousin Shane tell me they've invented this invisible man trick. In my head, I already know that whatever they're about to show me is going to be whack. <laughs> Robbie grabs his stepmom's bike. Robbie lives on top of a hill, by the way. <coughs> Shane takes the bike, runs full speed, throws the bike. The bike coasts down this hill in a straight line for like 35 seconds. The pedals spin like there's an invisible man on it and crashes into a bush. Coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <coughs> Shane runs down, grabs the bike, runs back up. Robbie takes the bike, runs full speed. Phew! I do it. It flops five feet after I let it go. We're out there taking turns for like an that hour, so and every time it's my turn, my invisible man acts like he has zero coordination. After a while, Shane leaves. I go to throw the bike. All of a sudden, my invisible man turns into Lance Armstrong. He's halfway down the hill. I'm freaking out like, yes, go, go. Right before he goes into the bush, a freaking <gasps> car comes out of nowhere. Bam, oh. And the guy stops the car. Skates! Oh my God. Oh my God. Me and Robbie are frozen. Then we do what any responsible run. teenager would do. We book yes. it into Robbie's house. We run into his room and act totally casually. Like, you know, in Grand Theft Auto, when you have five stars and you gotta hide behind a dumpster to let the cool down happen. Like, this is us in Robbie's room. So we give it about an hour. And then we casually just stroll outside. There's like 10 other houses <laughs> as you go down this hill between the bottom of the hill and Robbie's house. So it's not really obvious where this bike might have come from. We look down the hill, car is gone. Robbie's stepmom's bike is still there. Robbie casually takes a walk down the hill like it's, you know, it's a Sunday afternoon stroll. Grabs the bike and runs up with it. The alignment on this bike is 1000% effed. Like it is uh. so messed up. Robbie throws the bike in the garage and we disavow all knowledge of this mission. The story just randomly popped into my head the other day and I was thinking, you know, I probably screwed this guy up psychologically. What would you think if you're driving in your car and all of a sudden <laughs> you get out, you don't find a body, like, oh you're going to think gosh. you're a murderer. For all I know, this guy rushed home, uprooted his family, <laughs> moved to Mexico the next day. I don't even know what was probably running through his head when he got out and saw this bike and no body. So if you're watching this and you live in Orlando and a bike has ever randomly slammed into the side <laughs> of your car and you couldn't find the body when you got out, just know you're not a murderer, bro. I couldn't that imagine like if somebody really was actually funny. watching that and you would start freaking out yeah, saying like, that that was that him. That was me. That was me. You owe me a lot of money for that I car. Know. I can relate to that situation because I feel like that every time I hit something in the road. Do you ever feel like that? Where even if it's just like you know it's like a twig or a branch, you're just like, but what if that wasn't? What if that was an animal? Worse. I hate that. What if that I was actually a human bad. being? And then yeah. like I've done it a few times where like I've hit something so hard that I have to question if it's an actual person and then yeah. I, have to, I have to like turn or physically turn around and make sure that it wasn't a human an body. Yeah, or an animal. Like, either I way, always like, just look in the rearview mirror. Sometimes I don't trust that stuff though because I'm just like, well, what if it flung off the road? So I've a few times where it's been like that hard that I've actually had to go back and check to make sure that it was just like an, a branch or yeah. whatever. But, but that poor man. I just constantly look right. in the mirror every time I, uh, I bump over something that I didn't see. Is normally what I would, I always do. Yeah, that poor guy. I feel bad for him. But that was Smoothie actually. Smoothie looks like he's doing great though. I like his content. It's gotten a lot better shading and everything. He's doing really well. Yeah. Well, I, if you look at his older stuff. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. His lighting and everything. It's more detailed. That's really cool. I like his thumb. I think I like his thumbnails and his little animations are really cute. So I look forward to seeing more Wait, of him. Well, question for you guys: Does he still do the drawings, or does somebody else do it? Kind of curious about that. 
Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's Just true. let us know. I think he does. It says uh, Art, Premiere Pro Photoshop. and Photoshop. That's really cool. Very talented guy, that's for sure. Um, if you guys have any videos of his that you guys want us to watch, please leave them in the comments mm -hmm. below. If you guys want to see more of us, make sure to check out the description box below for our Snapchat and make sure to subscribe. And thank you for watching, and especially when it's something new that we've never done. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!